in dining in dollars, here's a stock to watch, Ecolab. That stock is up more than 20% for the year. The company is devoted to certifying the cleanliness at restaurants, grocery stores, and hotels. Joining us now is somebody you might know, Chef Trigay. Good to have you here. You are the season 12 winner of a Food Network Star. Give us an example of how this company works to get restaurants to the higher level of cleanliness. All right, so a couple things. The Ecolab Science Certified Program helps address the location's higher expectations for cleaning and food safety. Now, this comprehensive science-based pu uh, public health and food safety was developed by Ecolab scientists and experts to help businesses like hotels, restaurants, and grocery stores advance in their cleaner and safer, safer practices. So if you see this seal, you know that it is a certified clean. And, and I really love that because I know that now, like, all I got to do is walk in and see this seal and I can feel confident. What exactly makes a location scientific clean? So scientific clean requires science-based protocols and products, in-depth training for employees, and periodic audits performed by highly trained Ecolab specialists. So after meeting these rigorous program criteria, the business can earn the Ecolab Science Certified Seal. So now you know, like, basically in a nutshell, if a place has this seal, they have been using science-based protocols and products. Their employees are trained, like their staff is trained. So you're already taking the necessary steps you need to take at home to make sure your hands are washed, to make sure the kitty's hands are washed and things are clean. Now, this just takes it to the next step to where when you go into these establishments, you're gonna be confident to know, not only am I clean, but so are they. Not only is cleanliness important to me, but safer and cleaner is important to them as well. So it really just makes you feel good to know. So just look for that seal, correct? Yep, just look for the seal right in the front. It should be right in the front on the window or the door. What's it like being a judge on a food show? Is that challenging? It's actually very fun. I think the only time it's challenging is if it's a kid's show. I think Food Network Star Kids was the hardest one to judge because no one wants to judge a child, right? But they're here to grow and they're here to learn and they're here to develop and they're putting in hard work and competing. So you have to give them a fair judgment. But I think just because they're kids, it's a little hard for me. But other than that, it's pretty easy because I know that me judging them, I'm really helping them. You know, like I'm, I'm letting them know these are the things you did great. These are the things that we could do better. And then I'm also not leaving it open ended, but I'm coming back with this is how we can also make it better. And um, let, let's try it again or, or whatever that is, the confidence that they need. You know, I was once a competitor, too. So I think judging is very important to the competitor. Are there any behind the scenes secrets that you can share with us? you should know that we really are eating the food and you should know that we all have to take princess bites because sometimes we eat so much food we are so full and it is so funny when I in the beginning years ago when I first started I used to just it, if the food was good I'm taking a real bite but you can't do it because by the time you're done you're full so if you notice just the judges taking a little nibble it's because we want to survive the show oh very good where can people go to get more information for more information on, on the uh, seal and how to find these cleaner, safer locations, you can head over to sciencecertified.com. And for more information on my book and information on me, you can head over to cheftregay.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.